Okay, we are fresh, hot off the press. The England squad has been dropped. They have two friendlies lined up this international break with Austria next Friday and Italy the Monday after. Chloe. Yes. Where is Nikita Paris? I she's still back in Manchester, yeah. I think. Um why? Yeah, probably why is she having the squad? maybe a bit of a rant. Uh, to closest friends and family um, about the fact that her all the efforts and hard work and sort of incredible performances that she's put on uh, with Man Man United don't seem to have transitioned into a place. I would have thought that maybe we'd have had a little bit of a bigger squad, maybe 25. There's 23 going. Um, I would have expected Keats, given their friendlies, Mm -hmm. to get her her face back into the the England squad. So I'm a little bit disappointed because I think she's been on fire, you know, and I think you have to add in the context that Man United have not been creating a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I think their XG against Brighton was like 0.9 or something, yep. you know, and she's still scoring. So even without, you know, potentially enough service, she's still getting goals. I just, you know, it's, and look, Lee Williamson returns, which is brilliant, but when you look at she's played maybe a game and a half in terms of minutes and she's back in. Yeah. Keats is, is banging in the goals for United and isn't. Now, look, maybe you look at it and say, okay, are there enough number nines with England? I don't know. But then you've got to ask, are those number nines performing? Mm-hmm. It's an interesting one. I would have I would have hoped that she'd have gotten the chance to come back in. I mean, I expected all day that Leah was going to be back in. Mm. Um, I think she'll probably take up the captaincy role again. I understand that obviously she's not really reached the 90-minute mark for Arsenal yet. I think she had 70, just over 70 minutes against Manchester mm-hmm. City. Um, but she's been really, I mean, she's done amazingly for Arsenal since she's been back in, got a couple of assists, you know, being strong defensively, goal line clearances, etc. So it's not, even if she doesn't again sort of have full game times or maybe half matches here and there, I think just her being in and around the squad I think it's her personality and her presence there that leadership um, especially with the squad becoming increasingly younger really um, I think she'll be sort of that, that cool calm head for, for everyone as they go into some fairly lowly pre- low pressured games um, but yeah Paris was the one that I kind of feel really sorry for I mean she's not been in the England squad since the friendly against Norway in November 2022 um, she scored eight goals uh, in 12 WSL games this season it's been seven goals in six appearances in all competitions in 2024 and I do feel like that is probably that should have been enough to kind of get you back in. Well, I mean, maybe not the last window given England put six past Scotland, but previously we had talked about them not being clinical enough. Mm -hmm. Um, So that could have been, and look, maybe she wouldn't get started for England, but even bringing in the competition of another forward who's banging in the goals is going to raise the standards of everybody else as well and, and give you more options. So um, yeah, I think that's probably been the that's the biggest surprise, I guess, is yeah. that one. Whereas everything else kind of seems fairly business as usual. I mean, it's not that long ago that we kind of had a, an England squad announcement, so I wasn't expecting you know an absolute overhaul by any yeah. means. So. 